Hello there everyone and welcome back to some more Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. In the last episode we went ahead and we finished checking out the police that were getting attacked by hackers and then we helped out someone with his aim that was all buggy and glitching because there was a Poyomon. And in this episode, well, I kinda don't know what to do because the whiteboard, there's nothing here. And then if we talk to Kyoko, well, all she really does is complain about the AC. So I'm guessing we have to do something about the AC but I don't know how to actually do that. So instead, I'm going to do something that was suggested to me in the comments of the last episode. So if we go over here, over to the elevator, and then we take it up to the fourth floor, then we go to the right, and head here to this little arcade, talk to the person in the maid outfit, and we'll find out about the offline coliseum. So let's see what exactly this is. Alright, the Offline Coliseum is a place where tamers meet to test their strength. Six different competition levels. Alright, so I guess let's go ahead and take it. So, I'm not really entirely sure what this is, but I guess it's just like a series of battles. I'm guessing this first one here is going to have um, fresh forms and then um, fresh and rookies. If so, then that's kind of sad because I have two champions, so I'm just going to like... I'm just gonna like, sweep through everything. Man, that was that wasn't that wasn't even fun. That was easy. Okay, well it was fun, but seriously, man, I just destroyed that. What I like though is that we still get pretty good levels off of these guys, even though they're a low rank. So let's see. Next up. Which Digimon's cute, the Tokemon or the Poyomon? Wow, 40 damage critical, that's pretty good. 81 damage critical from a Poyomon. It's pretty impressive. Too bad I'm just gonna destroy you in one hit. I don't even know if I can like, if I can take them out with my special attack, or er, with my standard attack. I might be able to, but I don't wanna risk it, so I just wanna take them out as fast as possible. Ah, seriously? I should've used the attack that never misses. Whatever, I'm just gonna use the standard attacks, because that should do enough. Alright, so yeah, standard attack doesn't kill, but we have three attacks in a row, so... Alright, so that's the second one. I don't know how many there actually are here for this, um... For this Colosseum battle, but let's see. Ooh, this one has a, um... Uh, what's it called? A, um... I forget what that thing's called. Kuramon. That's called Kuramon. It becomes Diaboramon, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully we can scan more, because I'd love to use a uh, Diaboramon. That'd be really cool. Alright, well, so that, that Kuramon just died. Now let's see. Uh, I'll go ahead and use um, on this one. Man, these cross combos. I don't know how to use them, but whenever they happen, it's like so helpful. 622 damage. Poor thing, it just got destroyed. So standard attack should be able to take it out. From all three of them anyways. Alright, there we go, that's good. So now, Garjimon, you got this, right? Alright, there you go, that was easy. I would really love to use a Diabormon. Hopefully we can scan more Kuramon. So there we go, more levels on these guys. I should probably switch out more often so I can get Cam up. Alright, this is number four, I believe. Kind of lost track, but I, I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Pretty sure this is the fourth battle, so let's see. Um, everything's the same as effectiveness, but the Wanyamon's what's gonna attack next, so... Ooh, that, does, that was actually... It didn't do that much. I expected it to do more. But this should take it out regardless, so... Alright, there we go. 191. Nice. And then the good thing is D grenade hits both of these, so if it can take out one of them, that's good. Oh nice, it did take out one of them. So it's just the problem on left, I'll just go for the standard attack, why not? There we go, so that's battle number four. Hopefully there's not too many left. And more and more levels. The levels just keep coming. Alright, Geomon. This is this is either five or six, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the last one was four, so I mean this one will be five. 
But I, I'm not really sure again. So let's see. Uh, everything's not very effective, so I'll just use this because it's my strongest. Man, that did nothing. But I got Seedramon, so I'm good. Wait. How is that not very effective? Betamon was strong against Growlmon. So if Betamon is strong against Growlmon, why is Seedramon weak against Geomon? That just doesn't make sense logically to me. Man, it survived. Alright, that's fine. Why is Geomon strong against Seedramon? This doesn't make sense. Whatever, standard attack should take it out. Good, we got a cross chain too. And 19, 8 and 11, 19. But why, how? How is Betamon so strong against Grelmon if Seedramon is weak against Geomon? That doesn't make sense. Not in the slightest. Possum. Well, we're the Bronze Cup Supreme Champion, so that's good. And we got three points, okay. So let's see if we can take on another one. All right, the Silver Cup. So I'm guessing this one's probably gonna have rookies and champions. And I'll actually count to see how many battles it is this time. Alright, so this is the first one, and it has a rookie. So, it probably is just gonna be rookies and champions. If so, that's a little more fair than the last one, since I have two champions of my own. So, there we go, that's good. Alright, I guess it's just, um, rookies and, um, in trainings. I guess champions don't come to the next cup. But that's fine, I guess. We'll just breeze through this again. So this is the second battle. And now let's see. Uh, I'll go for Hydro Water, too. Man, that's just destroying everything. Seedramon, good job. Seedramon and Garjamon, you two are, like, so impressive right now. So there we go. Pretty good levels on everyone. Let's see, here's the third battle, and it has... Wait... That's a Lekmon. That thing's a rookie? I always thought that thing was a champion. Because that's the thing that takes care of the uh, primary village in um, Digimon Adventure. I honestly thought that thing was a champion. It's only a rookie? That's... wow. Alright, that takes care of that. So now, hopefully this should be able to take this out. I mean, I guess it does make sense that it's a rookie because it lost to Patamon. But... I don't know. I never thought of that thing as a rookie. Alright, so this is battle number 4 now. Yes, it is 4, okay. I, I was just mentally thinking to myself, but... Alright, Patamon's strong against everything, so I'll just take care of the Sunomon right now. And I missed, of course I do. But that's fine, because I'll just use uh, Hydro Water 2 on the Toy Agumon. And, wow, 543, really good job. So now the D-Grenade on both of these should do some pretty good damage. Oh right, yeah, that was pretty good. Mm, 26, that's not too much. And then this one has... Alright, that, that wasn't too much damage. We're fine. Don't miss this time, Patamon, alright? I'm counting on you. There we go, nice. 307. So now let's see. Hydro Water on you. Another 307. Nice, good job. Good job, Seedramon. So there we go, that takes care of that, and more level ups. So now let's see. Oh, that's, um, Itmon and Debbie Debbiemon. And then I forget what that other thing is, but that's the thing that works for Edamon. Then there are Demi Darts, which, as I mentioned before, were censored. Alright, so let's see. Um, hmm. Alright, no, it's not strong against any of these. Gazamon, that's what that is, okay. Alright, I'll just go for the um, Demi Demimon. Why not? That seems to be the weakest one. Good damage, but it's fine enough. Alright, I'll go for the Demi Demimon again. Nice, that took it right out. And now I'll use a D grenade to take out both of these two. Well, it probably won't take them out, but it will do pretty good damage. Oh, it actually did take out the Itmon. That's impressive. Alright, I'll just do standard attacks from here on out. Of course, that didn't do anything, but... Still, we should be able to take it out. Alright, yeah, there we go. That's good. So that was battle number 5, so... So now we'll see if there's 5 or 6. 
Alright, this is battle number six. So I'm guessing that there's six in each time. Alright. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Patamon's pretty dangerously low. Alright, let's see. I gotta strategize this. Let's see. Um. Alright. I think the Hakumon's the next one to attack, other than the Hagurumon. But I'm weak against that, so... So yeah, so I'll go get for the Hawkmon. Alright, that was pretty good. Now let's see. Uh, you're also weak against that, so... So yeah, I'll just use this turn to take out the uh, Hawkmon. There we go, that's good. Now you're gonna go for your standard attack on Padam- Okay, Padamon's dead, that's pretty bad. Do I have any more reviving things? I have one. Alright, revive Padamon. There we go, that's good. Why are you guys- Yeah, why are you guys teaming up on poor Patamon? I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Alright, well that one hit everyone, so... Alright, Hydro Water, I'll use it on the, um... I'll use it on the Galmon since that'll kill it. There we go, that's good. And now, from here on out, I think... I would say, um, standard attacks, but since we're pretty weak, I'll just go for the, uh, special attacks. Okay, and none of those are really effective, so let's go for my strongest one. Alright, a standard attack should take it out from here. And there we go, I figured that would be the last one. So there we go, that's good. So that should be the last one if there are six each time. Alright, yeah, Silver Cup Supreme Champion. Alright, let's see if I can take on the next one. Uh, okay, no, the machine's down for maintenance. So I'm guessing we have to wait a while and then come back to take on the next one. But, we can go, um, let's go to Digilab so we can, um, Digivolve things. Because we can Digivolve so many things. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So let's see. Uh, let's see, huh. I'll start off with Patamon, I guess. And I can turn it into any one of these. Um, okay, that, I think that one's Gautamon. That is very weird to think about. Pa Patamon turning into Gautamon. But, I'm not going to turn it into any of these. I'm going to turn it into Anjumon. At least, I think this is Anjumon. I'm not really sure. It looks the most like Anjumon than any of the other ones. If it's not Anjumon, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Also, I know it's pronounced Anjumon, not Anjumon. But, I like Anjumon better. It sounds better. Because Anjumon, like, Angel, Anj... I don't know. I always liked Anjumon. Alright, so my party's full. I predicted that much. So I guess I'll move, um... I'll move you to the, um, Digibank. And then I'll also move Lalamon, just because I'm going to Digivolve both of these right now. And I want to just have room there. Alright, so let me go ahead and... Uh, no, Digivolve. There we go. So I'll Digivolve Jerumon. Let's see, um... Uh, I can turn into any of these. Um, I'll turn it into the second one. This one seems... I think this is the one it's supposed to turn into. Because like I said, I know that there's deviations in the path and stuff, but I want to try to get it as close to the uh, path that I know of. Alright, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to turn into. So now it's the Rugamon, so that's good. And now Lalamon, I'll turn you into... Uh... And again, I cannot t turn you into something I would like because of Cam. I've got to use more different things so I can get Cam up. So I could turn it into Woodmon, Vegemon, or Sunflowmon. But I'm going to follow the path from Digimon Data Squad, so I'll make a, a, um, a Sunflowmon. There we go, that's good. And then after that, I think I think that's good on Digivolutions. I don't think there's anything else I can Digivolve. Alright, yeah, that's fine. And then, um, what about Goblinmon? Can I Digivolve you? No, because I want to turn you into Ogremon, but I need level 14 for that. So, I'll leave you in the uh, farm a little bit more just so you can grow that extra level. And then now, let's see, okay. Uh, obviously, I can't do anything with you two yet. So, I'll go ahead and convert something just so I can have a better team. So, I'll digi convert a Bodomon and a Yokomon. That should be enough to get my memory up to full again, so. Alright, there we go, that's Bodomon there. And then also, did you convert a... Yeah, Yokomon's the only one I can use, because... I have exactly five spots left, and then Bodomon takes up two, so that's three. Alright, there we go, that's good. 
So maybe put them onto there now. Alright, Bodomon. And Yokomon. Alright, there we go. So our memory is full once again. And we now have three champions. Gardramon, Seedramon, and Anjumon. And then we have these two just to train up. I will use these guys later, okay? I'll use Sunflomon, Dorugamon, and definitely Geomon. And then probably Ogremon too. I'm... Alright, let me know what you guys want. Would you prefer me to have one set team? Or would you prefer me to have a rotating team? Like, every episode, a different team. With maybe just one or two staying around as permanent members. Like, Gardramon probably would stay around as a permanent member since he was the first one. But the others I rotate around. That way you can have a variety. Let me know what you prefer. One team or a rotation? Um, I'm gonna end things off here because I still don't know what to do. I'm gonna do some exploring around off screen. So... Kind of short episode, I know we didn't really do much, we didn't progress the story at all, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time!